What's up? Welcome to the stream. All right, now let's see. We I oh right, I got Nino Kuni. I got Nino Kuni in, but I'm not gonna play that right now. Instead, we're gonna play Lee Slack from Rose of Dana. All right, we have sound. It seems. Just checking that real quick. All right, now. Let's play East Lacrimosa of Donna. <laughs> now, I, I would I would I do apologize for not, you know, um putting this out on Twitter because you know um a certain elong elongated a certain muskrat got himself elongated with one hand and you know kinda messed everything up with like you know making water into, you know, spaghetti cold. <laughs> it's part of the new patch known as the touch grass patch. <laughs> He's, try he's trying to get everybody to touch grass. <clears throat> and everybody's allergic to touching grass. Alright, 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 alright. Do I remember where I am in the game? What? Why am I over here? Oh, right, yeah, I remember now. I'm actually supposed to get something right now. There's some sort of. There's an item I missed. But first, let's get around these handworms. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Mung jumping at the speed of light. That's it's right over here, yes. A Roman badge! What does that do? What does the Roman badge do, I wonder? If only we knew, like, a Roman officer who you know would want that kind of badge. Of course, we don't know anybody like that. <laughs> Hey Aaron, I got your I got you a badge. What you found a badge for me? <laughs> Excellent, Adol. Thank you very much, yes. This is my partner's badge. It was on the beach, yes. I see. That was the sword, and that means my colleague must have been killed by the nameless ripper before he boarded. <clears throat> Curse you, Dr. Kiergaard! Is there no end to your uh, to your e Evil mustache twirling ways. <laughs> I love twirling my mustache like a cliche evil villain, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm so evil, sorry. Uh, uh, don't be. Besides, it's partially his fault for letting his guard down. <laughs> he got promoted and then passed through me after a damn fool. <laughs> ah, pity the fool. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, I should I should give this to those that those he left behind. Thank you, Adol. Aaron's approval maxed out. Yay! I'm so happy. Hey, Leon, what's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the stream. All right, now let's do let's do our little events with you know with Mr. Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see this game being streamed. Yes. I took spring a link. <laughs> Yeah. You know, my friend, my friend Inabit is also playing this game, too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got skilled hands. You have yeah, very skilled hands, yes. I like the plot, too, and yep. And we're at kind of the point where everything's gonna go... We're kind of at the point where we're gonna fight, you know, the, cr the giant kraken. And then after that, everything's gonna go off the rails, yeah. Because the plot of the East game is a big, because the plot of this game is a big slow burn, and once you get towards the end, it, it goes kind of nuts. <clears throat> it's almost like somebody said, "You want to, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts." Syria, <laughs> Fogona, the Salceda region. Uh oh, he's talking about Adol's past adventures. The situations there are said to have been resolved. Uh oh. I don't know if it's true or not, but supposedly this guy. Uh oh. Yes, he is. Anyway, top brass in the. Uh oh, the navy is interested in us. Interested in this I know why the navy is interested in Adol Christian. It's because Adol Christian got into a shipwreck, and it involved the Roman navy. I mean, it wasn't Adol's fault, but you know they're gonna be like a. Why did you sink all those ships, Adol? That why did you survive the shipwrecks, Adol? That's kind of sus. Did you like cause them? Yeah, they're gonna toss him into a prison, and then a mad alchemist is gonna make like clones of him. <laughs> mm. yeah, I agree. This 
I agree, the voice acting in this game is actually pretty good. Yeah, usually voice acting is not very good in, when you do the English dub. Because a lot of people like the four kids it up. Voice acting in this game actually sounds pretty solid for the English dub, though. <clears throat> mm. Alright, um, Aaron, do you have any new stuff that you know you can make for me? No, 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 no. Oh, what's that? Oh, bone necklace. No. Actually, it's all the same stuff. And I almost forgot about one thing. Where's the, where's the wee little man? Here, you can have an iron knuckle, yeah. Now I needed to give him the iron knuckle, yes. Hmm. Looks like somebody wore the knuckle down to the bone. But for, but for some reason, it fits me perfectly. In some case, the VAs make translations from the original translated dub quite smooth, though. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. No doubt somebody with great wall crushing skills used this! <laughs> we're, gonna, we're still gonna reference the time that Dogie went all Kool Aid Man on those walls back in East One. Yes. His knuckles are made out of the Kool Aid Man's, made out of the Kool -Aid Man's body. That's why he's like, oh yeah, when he crushes through walls, yeah. <laughs> it was by a pirate corpse, yes. Yar har fiddly dee, being a pirate is okay with me, do what you want cause a pirate is free, you are a pirate. Yar har fiddly dee, being a pirate is okay with me. Hmm. Oh. oh, whoops. It appears we have some background. As reliable as ever, yeah. yeah. Oh, old times. Thief go and taint band of thieves. That's a reference to East One. It's so nice if they put that reference in the game. All right, Dogman's 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 approval maxed out. That's good. Oh, what's in here? All oh, right, the Mark Story Volume Two. Right, 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 right. Alright, who alright, um what items what gift items do we still have? Should be on the list. Small ring, mark story, and juggling balls. Now I believe the juggling balls are for Hummel. Wherever he's going off to. Oh, he's right there, alright. Alright, let's give him the juggling balls, shall we? Get all presented Hummel with the juggling balls as a gift. Balls used exclusively for juggling. This is a unique item. Are you giving me this? So you can unwind, yes. <laughs> Wait, you're a juggling expert? Of course you are. And also an edge lord, yes. All right, let's see them. Let's see them. Let's see. Let's see them juggling skills. Hopefully they have it. Hopefully they have the budget to animate those. Um, hopefully they had a budget to animate that. Oh, you really can juggle. Are you really a transporter? Wow. <laughs> oh, of course all the kids want to see it. Oh, it's on discount on Steam. Yeah, you see, you see it definitely goes on discount multiple times. That's usually on sale. When on Steam, it usually goes on sale, yeah. I lit the kids by soap the other day. They're so young, so their hands get filthy rather fast on this island. If they don't keep their hands clean, they could get sick. Oh, they want to see the ball trick, yeah. Oh, for 
perform this juggling act again, this time for the kids. I sparkle with the light and they were very happy. Hummel's approval maxed out. Defense up, defense up. Oh wait. We actually have an item for a little Piero here. Alright, let's... Peter, you can have a small ring. Ring is fashionable and cool. Perfect fit. Hey, you repaid me. How will you do that, little parrot? Oh, little parrot wants to kiss me. Uh, your thanks is enough, yes. Ah, uh, please, little parrot, I want a kiss from you, yes. Alright, little parrot's approval maxed out. That's good. So good. Alright, now, uh, who is the... Alright, who is the who is the Mark story for again? I mean, I believe if I remember correctly, I believe it's for Ricota. I mean, where has she gone off to? Let's see, I got a quest for Austin, but I can't do it quite yet. I actually started the process of doing it, but I kind of need to go to the next story point to be able to actually do it. Alright, there's Ricota. Alright, give the Mark story number two, yeah. I wonder. I was wondering about the second part, but it never washed up here. Oh, what kind of story is it? Mars fights for his wife and child. He overcomes any hardship of his family. Oh, I'll protect it with you. Yeah, let's say that. Oh, we got more defense. That's good. We get, she can actually really use it. Yeah. Honestly, Ricota could really use that. All right, doing it. Did I get all the gift items delivered? If I got all the ones I can get for now delivered. All right, let's talk to Thanatos about the giant nemesis. I want you and Sahad to know about this, huh? Ooh. This is gonna lead to, you know, trying to get, you know, a giant fish. I understand why you called Ado, but why me? There's an enemy here besides Oceanus. Okay, what what is it? The sword enemy is a fish! Oh no, it's a fish! How bad, how bad could I be? I'm just swimming in the economy. <laughs> Something like that, it's a bothersome foe. I'd like you guys to defeat it for me. Very well. <laughs> Read a pyrite aerial. Giant one over five mile long. Dang, that's a big that's a big fish, uh how 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 long how how long exactly is a mile? In this game, is it like a meter or something? Dang, five meters. That, that's you know, if it if it's the same as a meter, that's that's actually pretty huge. When you catch it, yeah, of course you cook what you catch. That's the first rule of fishing. Yes. Oh, you think you think say do you think Sahad just fishes for sport? Nah. <laughs> All right. Supposedly in the pond at Wood and Water Hit, a Water and Wood Sale. Primorials can be found there as well. I know I've met them. They're not really very nice, and they're kind of high level. They're like around level fifty or so. Let's see. The pond is over there. If we go to this campsite, we should be able to get there. Now. Yeah. All right. Now let's roll. That's a roll. Rolling your rolling, rolling like a little hedgehog. Uh oh. Mm, Alright now. Spin dash to glow. Spin dash around for glory. Come and get me if you're able. 
And am I now my determination staple? Try and stop me if you're able. But you can't be. But you'll never beat me because you're not able. Because you're unstable. Oh no, get up, get up, get up! No, no, no! Get up! Come back here, you come back here, you dinosaur! Dinosaur, dinosaur, dino, dino, dinosaur. For dino. Oh man. I can't believe this game has you just fighting dinosaurs all the time. It's kind of awesome. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of basically every little boy's dream, yes. <laughs> it kind of, it kind of reminds me of certain shows from, you know, back in the day that, you know, are revolved around getting lost and and turning into lost worlds, ending up fighting dinosaurs, and other sorts of mischief. Hey, new box, what's up? Hey there, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And yeah, there were quite a few. There were quite a few shows back then about lost worlds and dinosaurs. <laughs> In fact, I'm pretty sure some of them were based on books or something. Also, there was the, there was the Land Before Time. And how many Land Before Time movies did they actually make exactly? I I kind of lost fan after the first two because I'm pretty sure most of them after you know the first couple were you know direct direct the video <laughs> and not quite as good as the first movie. Yeah, they became more and more you know really kind of tame after that. I mean, the first movie is a masterpiece, don't get me wrong. And the other ones after that, no. It's sort of like this one princess, which it had the one, which it had the one good movie, but you know they decided to make it into a whole series, and it got, and it got less and less and less quality to it. Journey mm. to Cinderella Earth was a novel that got adapted to a movie adaptation. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. It certainly did. Mm. Oh yeah, that's true. There was also there was also the, there was also the book called the there was also that book about there was also that one book that was about a time machine. All right, where's where's the stimulus at? If I had to guess, I would say it's a giant fish shadow, which is that one right over there. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go fishing, guys. Luckily, I'm luckily I luckily most people don't know this about the game, but um, that was actually the best at pulling in big fish. <laughs> of course, it stands to reason her people are descended from dino are actually descended from dinosaurs. Yeah, they you see these primordials here. Um, how those people evolved from evolved from you know dinosaurs, much like this one, much like these guys. <laughs> which is what you know, what you know is a what you know and. And you know that Donna's people were really, were much taller than average, and Donna's considered you know you know to have you know um kind of be rather short for rather short for them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which means which means that the Eternians were super strong Amazon Amazonian women, which stands to reason because they protected the power of Grayskull, You see. <laughs> Everything, everything was larger back then. I mean, that is true. Have you ever played Pokemon Scarlet? Have you ever played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? All the, all the, all the primordial dinos, lost dinosaur, did you? All the primordial lost dinosaur Pokemon are like really, really huge and everything. And then, and then in the future where they're all mechanized, they're all like super small. <laughs> they're like smaller. Than, they're like smaller than what they actually, than what they are in their present time. Uh oh, uh oh, this is gonna be a tough battle. Alright, it's time to paddle a fish. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Alright, now, hit that fish. Alright, now. Oh no, we have to hold it. Yeah, get that fish. Come on, Nana. 
No, we're we're running out. We're running out. Come on, we can do it. 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 We just need you. We just need to tap into the power of super strong Dino DNA. We just need to tap into the power of Dino DNA. <laughs> that means that Don Don Erner people have Dino DNA. Yes. You know, just like that one dude from Yu-Gi-Oh GX. <laughs> I know DNA. <laughs> I believe I have that as some sort of silly redeem. Yeah, use the power of Dino DNA to grab that big fish. Look at the size of the thing. That looks like one of those big fish from River Monsters that you know was like in South America. That probably that like jumps out of the water like a torpedo and that's like a a few hundred pounds and you know just bashes people in the head. <laughs> at the surface, as a as the surface of the earth changed, every organism started shrinking. <laughs> oh, we got dragon crust stones! And we got primitive meat! And we got a big pearl! <laughs> All things that... Yeah, this fish just happened to have a big pearl inside of its mouth or something. I don't know, it probably ate like a clam or something. <laughs> it, this is the giant parayu that Tynodos told us about. Yes, it's called an arapaima, guys. <laughs> no! No objection, nurse! Objection! <laughs> objection! <laughs> objection! <clears throat> For you see, um, this Arapaima worked at a chemical factory, so it doesn't have... This Arapaima doesn't actually have any fingerprints, because it did not work. Because it didn't work. Because it worked at a chemical factory! <laughs> Yeah, we we see we see a Manfred fan karma. He's definitely the most evil lawyer I've ever seen in any in any work of fiction ever. <laughs> Von Karma is so cartoonishly evil that he he's like it he's like if Jack Thompson were were he's like if Jack Thompson were a real person. <laughs> <laughs> I probably won't be here tomorrow. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh well, I'm sure you got something to do, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello, I caught your giant nemesis. Oh, you're wielding my nemesis. Wahaha! <laughs> Great, let's cook this sucker up and have a feast. <laughs> All right, let's do it. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Manfred von Karma's objections sound like he sound like they're being said by a big by you know an actual demon. <laughs> what you know is close to what Manfred von Karma actually is since he's a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Manfred von Karma is basically like the lawyers that work for, you know, Monster Energy that run around copyright claim, that run around getting people in Suing people for suing people for false copyright trademarks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they hire somebody like him. It's because it's a fourth tomorrow and I, I'm, and I, so I will probably be with my family. Oh, that's okay. Oh yeah, you're right. It is the fourth. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh yeah. I'm sorry about that. Oh. Yeah, you should definitely spend time with your family, yeah. <laughs> Even though I got I got plenty of lovers to choose from. <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, Adol also has plenty of lovers, and some of them are goddesses. <laughs> uh, some of them are also evil chicks, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty sure one of them was like a Gangare or something. <laughs> <laughs> Although, uh, although, uh, Adol's, Adol, although Adol's first love was, Adol's first love was, def was definitely that one, that one girl in white with the silver hair that, you know, turned out to be a goddess in disguise. <laughs> yeah. Adol gets all the grills, yeah. Adol, Adol's milkshake brings all the girl, brings all the boys and girls to the yard, yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you for the hand pants. That's so nice of you. Mm. Objection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, 
<laughs> All right, welcome to the jungle. Do, 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 do. Welcome to the jungle. I've become so numb, so much more aware. All right, where are we heading? All right, if we head straight, we should. If we head straight ahead, we should be able. We should be able to get to our to our target destination. Yes. And then finally, Donna can get that cheat music from Rastel that we didn't get to that we didn't get during the last episode. Because Rastel was nowhere to be found back then. We just need to get the we just need to get the palace up, yeah. Of course we'll probably get sidetracked by, you know, Donna doing a whole bunch of side quests. Hey, wait a minute, where am I? Whoops, it appears I went the wrong way. Oh well. And I'll just use one I'll just use the work point here. Ara ara. No. Oh. This is the aerial corridor. In my time, this the corridor was the entrance to the royal palace of Eternia. It's where the power of Grayskull was held. Wait, or would the power of Grey, or would or would Castle Grayskull be where, where the temple of the Great Tree would be? <laughs> oh, look over there. Hey, the crystal is glowing with the is glowing with the power of essence. Yes. It's it's sort of like it's sort of like it's sort of like the it's sort of like the it's sort of like the creative forces from uh Hex's force, yes. <clears throat> Only it turns out they don't actually care if they're using their if they're using the power for destruction or creation. Although then again, if you get the true ending of Hex's force, you um you kind of have to balance the forces of creation and destruction. Which basically requires you basically doing every single, which basically requires you doing every single side quest in a particular way, or you know, getting the right questions, and then getting to that area at the end where every where you can actually check the check what your what check what your balance is. What is it, Donna? The sun seemed to dim for a split second. Honestly, getting the, getting the true ending of uh, Hexus Force is actually really complicated, guys. Mm, not gonna lie. Mm. Unless you know what to do when you're specifically aiming for it, it's actually very difficult. Mm. Sorry, now you have spent our entire lives in the capital. You can't see why it's difficult for me to accept that such a terrible thing will come to pass. But all the all the great civilizations eventually come to an end. It's only natural, right? I'm also concerned about that chasm. Why does it appear in the capital? Yes, it's called a meteor. It came and struck down the earth. Yes. It turns out the meteor was actually done by the big bad evil guy in that um, yeah. And that's why there's dinosaurs in the present timeline. Yes. Maybe it was done by maybe it was done by dinosaur Jesus or something. I don't know. I'm only joking, of course. <laughs> I see. Please let me show. Please let us know if we can be of any assistance. Oh, don't worry. Where are you and your men going? We're storing food by decree of the of your Majesty Queen Sari. Mm. Mm. Oh, we're having a poor harvest this year. That's not good. Oh, it's so good that Queen Sari took action immediately. Yes. Of course, as it turns out, that Queen Sari is actually, you know, an evil Illuminati alien lady who's, you know, responsible for the meteor. Yes. It's all part of. It was all part of her evil schemes. Yes. Yeah, she was colluding with the parrots. Yes. <laughs> After all, the parrots is a true mastermind of all the evil in this game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I get scared of the fireworks that go off. Aw, oh, do you have sen- That seems like you might have sensory issues, dude. <laughs> mm. This man, Adolf, was he trying to reach the aerial corridor in front of the palace? Yes? That's right, we need to hurry- We need to hurry so Adolf can reach the chasm. We'll probably get sidetracked by, you know, a quest that'll take- We'll probably get sidetracked by several quests along the way, but, you know, that's no problem. 
I mean, what, what's a few side quests that are... Alright, where... Where, oh, where is my underdog, though? Wait, if I go this way, I should be able to get to the side quest, right? Well, the side quest is somewhere down here. Okay, what? What's going on? What is going on? Wait, and high priestess. Yes, what do you want exactly? What's wrong, Cecile? Are you are you two leaving for the harvest festival after the harvest festival has ended? You seem rather preoccupied as of late. Mm. Forgive us, but we'd rather not inconvenience anybody else with this. No, oh, I'm sorry. I guess I, I guess I'm not expressing myself clearly. Was it? I mean, if you want, if you need help, you can come to us. Oh, I don't know why you two are so busy investigating, but I can tell by looking at you that it's something serious. Yeah, it just involves the downfall of civilization, which may or may not be happening very soon. Of course, we're not going to tell anybody that. Yeah, I'll definitely, do, I'll definitely expose you information. You know, when, 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 um, you know, it, it, when it's necessary. Yes. Yeah, I promise. I definitely get you know half one of my crimson visions. Like you know, I, yeah. You know, it might, it might have been, it might have been, you know, related to one of that vision of that beautiful field in the ocean where I was drowning. Hmm. Although I'm, I'm sure that's absolutely nothing to worry about. No. I mean, why would it be? Pulling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. Oh, there, there's Poplio. I remember Poplio, I, rem I like him a lot. Hey, where am I? Hey, what? Oh, there's a floor. I th think it's on the other floor, then. Must be on the other floor. Where? Right, where is there a staircase up here? Ow. Right now, and that's the wrong way. Oh, look, it's a spirit that's trapped in the void. Hmm. Fireworks here take me. My cat doesn't seem to care much, though. Taking of fireworks one time when I was having a fireworks went pa went past my ear and knocked out my hear knocked out my hearing a bit. Oh, that's. Oh, I'm sorry you guys had such bad experiences with fireworks. I remember one time, like, I remember one time uh, my cousin accidentally, you know, you know, set off a, accidentally set off a firework and it kind of burned me a little bit. And it kind of hurt a little bit. <laughs> mm, they didn't really mean, they didn't really mean for it to happen. It just kind of veered off in that direction and went towards me. <laughs> it's not secret that fireworks can be dangerous if handled carelessly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's why a lot of that's why some places will that's why some places have bans on certain fireworks. Even though the most dangerous fireworks are probably sparklers, yeah. Now sparklers are how 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 are how fires happen. <laughs> well, accidents do happen. Fireworks can be dangerous if you're not careful. Oh my! Oh dear! Oh my! Regular style has been up. All right, our, our regular style has been updated with the powers of water. You know, I I kind of wish this was basically just Donna's game, and she was the main character. Then she could probably use all these different styles whenever she wanted. <clears throat> it seems kind of a waste for her to you know have this whole storyline in the past and not be able to you know use them in the present. At least that's just my two cents. They could have just made it like Tokyo Xanadu. Yes, and Tokyo Xanadu is also a game made by Falcon, which is basically just yeast, but you know, it's kind of, it's just basically yeast, but it's also like Persona. <clears throat> you see, it was, hmm. is this the last game of this series? No. No, it is not. <laughs> nope, there, there's, 
No, there's another there's another East game after this one, which is East Nine Monster Knox. And they're also making it they're also making a tenth one that's come that's coming out soon. Well, I mean it hasn't come out in a <laughs> I I I guess Persona rules, I should probably give it I should probably give Persona 5 more of a chance though. I mean I like the idea of Phantom and Thieves and you know Darker storyline is sounds like it's pretty good. <laughs> mm. I think it I think it was right it was right here, but my hearing got knocked down for a bit. Alright now, where do we go to Alright, where can you have to go to those points first? Uh, I wish this moment would last forever. But Donna, you and I both know that this is not gonna last forever. The gameplay is very entertaining, yes it is. I can't I kinda wish um, you know I kinda wish, you know, turn based RPGs weren't going away because because I, I actually really, really love them, yeah. What's all the commotion? Excuse me, what's going on? Ah, meet under the great tree, yes. That's something you need to concern yourself with. Every person's smiling face is a testament to Eternia's prosperity, and also the power of Graceful, yes. No issue is too trivial for my involvement, so please tell me what's happening. Oh, I like Donna. She's a lot like He-Man. She's a lot like He-Man and, and She-Ra. Both really good people, yeah. Very solid people. The gate. The music is catchy as heck, yeah. I agree with that. Mm. We discovered in morning that the essence equipment that powers it is broken down. The equipment is unique too, it, or it was designed several hundred years ago. So we need to so we need to research how exactly to repair it. That's a problem. Sure, I'll offer to help. You would like to personally contact Batcha Tower on your behalf? And I'll send someone in a matter of days to repair the gate. <laughs> Alright, does that mean we have to physically go over there? Then I wrote a letter requesting repairs and arranged it to be sent to Batcha Tower. Oh, actually, oh, okay. Okay, then that means we can that means we can access it, and, and the most important thing about that is we can access this place in the present since it was kind of jammed before. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, man, Persona Five would be a super duper duper long game, and you know, I am told that I and yeah, I think I should play it. Yeah. The last time we saw pe the last time we saw somebody play play Persona Five, it was like uh, it was like Kage 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 Kageido, the final boss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. I remember seeing him go up against that corrupt, seeing him go up against that gym teacher, who you know was a real creeper, and also that and also that you know and also you know that corrupt artist. My favorite villain in Persona 5, though, is Shido. <laughs> mm. Mm. I mean, he's the guy that, you know, kicked off the events of the game. And then Persona 5 Royal came out later, and you know, um, they, they, made that fal they made that false messiah dude. Who, you know, has, you know, has as a thought. <laughs> mm. Alright, now. Spirit of Frame Drops, what are you going to do? Mm. Yes, I am. We believe spirits and people should live in harmony with one another. Long ago, the spirits lent their power to other people to sustain peace in this world. You know, you know that you know. Back to the point that you know I was making about you know Anna should be the main character of this game. She really, 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 really should. Um. We, we really don't need Adol for this. We really, there's no real reason why Adol should be the protagonist. I mean, I get, I, I mean, I like the island survival game. I like the island survival part of the game too. But you know, <laughs> you know, you know, with Donna's storyline, she should definitely be the protagonist of this. And you know, it should be like, it should be more like Tokyo Xanadu. Yes. Then you probably just put E. 
I mean, more power to it for putting heat, for putting Abel and Ace on it. But you know, you know, this game could have been like, uh, you know, Tokyo Xanadu, but you know, on a deserted island, or you know, in the ruins of a turning or whatever. And it, and it would have, and it would have been, and it would have been just as good. And then, you know what? You know, I, I kind of say the same thing about uh, fire. I kind of say the same thing about Fire Emblem Gage, which I think some of the ideas in there are really cool. But you know, I kind of, you know, think they should be implemented in a different way. Eh, well, I mean, uh, I mean, this game is pretty good for what it is now, so I can't really complain too much. Alright, I believe another door in the sanctuary is open. So we should go right on now. Hmm. Hmm, maybe I'll be sure to say that before the July to you all. Oh, thank you. You really, you really don't need, oh, thank you. Now, yeah, let's see. Where I live, there's like a huge fireworks display. And where I live, there's like a huge fireworks display, which goes off every which goes off every Fourth of July. It's pretty nice. The nice part about it is they also have a fireworks display actually on my birthday. Yeah, because it's tied to because it's tied to what a because it's tied to the foundation of the village. Let's go. Alright, this looks like a big watery place. I feel like each of, I feel like each of these areas is just based on a different element from from you know that from you know it's based on a different chain it's based on a different element. You know, it kinda reminds me of Pandora's Tower in that respect. Wow, there's a big open area there. Do I actually do a voice recording so you can hear my voice? Oh, I would love all oh, that would be good. Thank you very much. That would sound, that sounds pretty good. Alright, where am I even supposed to be going around here? Alright, I might as well, you know, open this chest and see what's inside. There's just essence fragments in here. Well, I mean essence fragments are basically money. But she you know is another point as to Yo, know, why why is Donna not the main character? I mean she even has her she even has economy that's tied to basically just her storyline that Adolf can't use. Alright, these guys are actually very easy to deal with. All you have to do is flash. These guys are actually very easy to deal with. When they charge at you, all you have to do is flash guard. And you know, and then you can, hey, you can counter them. Whoops, I did it a little too late there. Sorry about that. Alright, now. Try and hit me if you're able, but you know by now my determination stable. Level up! I love I love the sweet the sweet sound of level up. Alright, let's break some blocks. Alright, I as much as I like Renica's style, and you know, smashing everything with big hammer is very fun. But being aware my voice is very deep for my age. Well it's not too deep. Oh, wow. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, strictly speaking, strictly speaking, as much as I wish I were a cute kawaii um, anime girl, I'm actually not. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm actually a guy. <laughs> and, and then you're probably going to be like, oh, why, why, why are you a guy with a, why are you a guy with a female avatar? And I'm like, because I can. <laughs> and I'm like, why? Why not? <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Alright, you see that over there? I have to get over... I have to get to those... I have to get to those flames. Alright, first we have to take care of these robots. Say, what's this? What's this flower over here? Oh, moonlight grass. All right, let's break some things. I love I love breaking objects with a big hammer. Yes, it reminds it reminds me of Legend of Zelda. But you know, this game is more like Legend of Zelda than Legend of Zelda is these days. 
Yeah, I kind of I kind of miss the old formula of Legend of Zelda games, but you know, I can kind of understand why they aren't exact, why they're not really doing that anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess it's. I think it's mostly because you know it start I started to kind of drop off. It kind of started to drop off around Skyward Sword, and then you know. Though to be fair, I think the reason for that is actually because Skyward Sword had, you know, uh, motion controls. <clears throat> Skyward Sword, you know, had motion controls, but, you know, weren't super duper popular. And then, you know, they, and then they had that, and then they had that one remake of, you know, um, they had that one game that was planned to be a remake of Link to the Past, but, you know, Decided at last minute to, you know, kind of change things around and make it a completely different game. You know, set in the same world. <clears throat> yeah, Link Between Worlds. At least that's what I hear anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if it were intended to, you know, be a Link, Link to the Past remake at one point. I, if that's true, they probably should have kept it that way. I like the motion controls, sword fighting, sword fight games. Hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, I guess, but you know, I just wish the motion controls were more accurate. That you were more accurate for that sort of thing. Hmm. I always felt like whenever you swung your sword in one way, the game would like always, you know, swing it, swing it another way. <clears throat> that you really didn't intend, and you know. And Skyward Sword kind of, you know, had some things that kind of required precision that, you know, it wasn't quite, you know, really good at. Hmm. It's, yeah. Hmm, also play the intro, intro music. Oh, future Lord of Chaos and Destruction, no! Don't be a bad dude, no! Don't be a bad guy, why do you have to be a bad guy? Why can't you be a good guy? <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to beat this giant robot up by, you know, smacking it in the face with a giant hammer. Any, 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 I have something to say? Oh, really? Okay, sure. All right, what? All right, what is it? Bouncy, 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 bouncy. I'm glad Foam Swordsman is here. Foam Swordsman is a good little bean. They're always so nice to visit my stream. <laughs> it's nuts. No. Uh-oh, it's an enemy with a shield! However, shall we defeat this fearsome foe? Alright, alright, I see. We're going to need we're gonna need your we're gonna need our sword style for this. Okay, stop bouncing around everywhere. Stop bouncing around. Stop bouncing around everywhere, yeah. Stop bouncing around and let me hit you. Oh no, it's hitting out freezing breath and it's damaging me. Get out of here. Get out of here, yeah. Uh, good thing I got a level up on that. <laughs> Otherwise, that would have been very inconvenient. Oh no, we got a black puzzle. Mm, you had to say that. Seems like a pretty normal size hammer to me. I mean, just look at this. Let's look at this hammer. Look, look, look. I mean, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. I mean, what's not the love? It's wood. It's log, it's log, it's big, it's heavy, it's wood. <laughs> and what's not the what's not the love about a big hammer that's made out of wood? <laughs> it kinda it kinda makes me think that it kinda makes me um think that, you know, Tana might be a dryad. I mean she's harvesting the powers of nature to make a giant hammer to smack enemies in the face with. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like a very cool design for, you know, a triad. Mm. Unlike my design for a triad, which, you know, just has a wooden sword and is a dude. Although, you know, I had another design for a triad that's also, you know... I had another, I had another design in mind. You know, it's actually, it's actually based on, it's actually based on a coconut tree. You know what, you know what coconuts are. Mm. I mean, of course you do. Everybody knows what coconuts are. 
And coconuts are coconuts are per coconuts are deli coconuts are you know delicious. And I thought, hey, why not make it why not make a lady that's you know a uh, that's you know like a coconut tree. Ah, we got a spirit cape, yeah. I would have to take pictures of a weapon, not the person. The Donkey Kong hammer is m made of 60 inches. I mean, does Donkey, does Donkey Kong even need a hammer? Hmm. I mean, given how strong Mr. Given how strong Mr. Donkey Kong is, does he does he really need does he really need a hammer? <laughs> I mean, I mean, then one time you know, um, Donkey Kong like you know punched the moon out of orbit or something. <laughs> If I remember correctly, that's a, that's something he did. <laughs> if I remember correctly, that's like something he did. And I was like, it, I was like in Donkey Kong Country Returns. <laughs> and I, I, oh, all right. There's there's invisible enemies that are you know pelting me with energy balls. There's just enemies that are invisible. I saw Mr. Nuts, he was... I saw Miss, oh, Mr. Beast Bar? Yeah, he is one that... Technically, it's Mario's Hammer and Donkey, and Donkey Kong 1. Oh, right, of course. For some reason, I... For some for some reason, I wasn't quite connecting the dots. <laughs> I, I apologize, I'm very... I'm very er, I'm, I apologize for that. Alright, which way are we even supposed to go? All right, there's just an there's just an enemy there that you know, you know is a spirit. I seem we have to get up, get to the top somehow. How do we? Whoa, 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 whoops! But how do we do that? All right, how do we get to the top? And right, maybe if I, you know. Maybe if I, you know, smack these blocks down, yeah. What's this? Wait, how does that help us? You know, maybe if I smack this block. Maybe if I smack that block, there we go. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, whoops, there. Alright, good thing good thing I can do some good thing I can do good thing I can do some a bit of cheese to get that chest. All, all you really need all you really need in life is a little bit of cheese. Sometimes a little bit of cheesecake is all you need. Wait, what am I what am I doing? I just need to go up here, yeah. Alright, looks like there's a safe point up ahead. I'm gonna go grab that real quick so I can heal. All right, points has been grabbed. Hmm. Wait, are what are nuts and what these nuts in your mouth, huh? Hmm. Uh oh, it's a it's an it's another enemy robot, and he's got a big sword. Hone silver blade. Oh wow, silver blades. That's actually what you use against the. In the lore, silver is actually a very precious metal, yes. Mm. Alright, you stick in neutral from that. Alright, he, all right, he's weak he's weak to he's weak to this style. He's weak to regular sword style. Alright now. If I do mistral spin around him, he, it probably should it should wear him out eventually. Now he did like a shockwave attack. Uh oh. Whoa, he's got a shield now. Alright, looks like I'll have to pierce that shield. Ow. Alright, the shield is very weakly getting hammered to the face, it seems. Alright, now let's do an extra skill, yes. No swords like that, they're very similar to SOE. Iron sword is... Really? Ara ara. I wonder if you... I wonder if you can make one that's sort of like, yeah, you know... Let's try like some of Donna swords. Mm -hmm. Of course, I guess Donna swords are a little bit more, you know, unrealistic fantasy related. 
Then again, with all the Mo Ninja weapons I've seen, you know, um, unreal, unrealistic weapon, unrealistic weapons kind of, you know, um, I, I kind of have low, unrealistic expect, you know, well, there we go. Like those curved ones? Yeah. Yeah, these ones like here, they're pretty cool, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Try and get me if you're able. Uh, what? Whoa, 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 watch out for shockwaves, the ish. I like that he's attacking with just shockwaves. Alright, as long as... Oh, well, watch out, watch out, watch out. Alright, now, alright, now, he's down to... He's down to... He's still down to just a sliver of health. There we go, got him. Adversary, purified. Mommy, I'm scared I need my blankie. Oh, don't worry, I'll give you... I'll give you a nice soft blankie. A nice soft clean one, just for you. Ooh, a treasure chest appeared, oh boy. Alright, what's inside that chest? Hmm, there's all sorts of chests that I like to open, yes. <laughs> I got the Stone of Antiquity, whatever that is. Oh, it's like strength and defense plus 40 and, you know, it just has your SP cost. Why would I not want that? All right, let's go look at them. Let's go look at some more forbidden knowledge. Yes, that you know, uh, Maternia is hiding from its own people. Mm. Yes, it seems like Castle Greystall has some dark secrets that doesn't want told to the world. Probably related to the Great Tree, you know, being a weapon of, ba of um, you know, being a weapon of some sort. You always read those in the pre who, in the presence of glory, seek to claim it for themselves. Thus do the weaker nations seek to wage war against Eternia and usurp the Golden Age for themselves? Ah, yes. You know, usual conflicts. With its essence and powerful military, Eternia was was in no danger of falling. But the civilian casualty is mounted among, along Eternia's border, threatening the peace and security of the people. Amidst the fog of war, one man stepped to ensure his peace ensure his place and ensured his place in Eternia's history. In fact, when I was sleeping, I'm thinking, no, it's Skeletor, no, no, we do not hail people as evil as Skeletor. Uranus, oh no, that dude's name is Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Though he appeared to be an unassuming traveler, Uranus possessed the cult essence and powerful will that could withstand any hardship. <laughs> I also I will I make and sell Eternian power swords origin in his cartoon form. No. <laughs> no. I was traveling among the region ravaged by war. Uranus was set upon by bandits. Oh no! A one woman believed to be the leader drew her sword from a sheath, and she made sure he was ready to cut him down. Uranus, <laughs> ever trifle, said thusly. <laughs> oh, what's this? Wrath will not calm your wrath. You need not feel wrath. You need not feel fear. Embrace tranquility only, only when you abandon wrath and you walk the when you walk a new path. Ah, oh, that's nice. A bird to live by. I sell them in he man she she runs Skeletor Farms. Oh, that sounds really awesome. She did not understand your rain, your rainness at first, but as meaning tone in her, she wept. Thus, thus did the bandit leader become this disciple and traveling companion. You know, sort of like Genghis did in, you know, um, and Dragon Quest VIII. With each passing day, Uranus came her more disciples, even the beasts of the earth began to follow him. Damn, this dude has straight up become, straight up became a Disney princess. <laughs> I do think about you when I sleep. Oh, no, you re Oh, that's so nice of you. Thank you. With his tranquil demeanor, he later became known as a saint of salvation for his role in saving the people of Eternia from a, geek, from a great cataclysm. Mm. <laughs> My favorite great cataclysm is being, being known as Uranus. Saint Uranus, he was very important to the establishment of the kingdom, yes. <laughs> But he saved Eternia from a cataclysm, he sounds as wonderful as history suggests. He inverted a bandit leader into one of his disciples, even animals follow him. Yes, 
He sounds like he was a real Disney princess, yes. <coughs> what a fascinating man. Yes. He's almost as pure as heart as a Disney princess. His virtue level must be his virtue level must be much higher than Donna's. <laughs> I know that voice. Did you follow me, Eo? <laughs> oh no, it's Aya now. I remember her. No, thank you for the five thank you for the five thousand dollar donation. <laughs> yes. But landing with you will be a great way will be a great opportunity to make my or I mean um Excite! Excite people for the battle up ahead, yeah! <laughs> that reminds me of my younger days of writing, but instead of doing things, I murdered people- No! Don't be a bad guy, no! Don't be a bad guy, no! You gotta be a good guy, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, people will send heroes to fight you! And then, if, and then you, and then if the heroes, you know, go, and if the heroes invade your lair and start murdering your, start murdering your henchmen and stealing your treasures, you're gonna be really, you're gonna be really upset. <laughs> that is what I meant to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> also got away with it because Dark or one of my proprietors was actually in my spawn. <laughs> My my favorite my favorite type of spawn is spawn. Yes. <laughs> I I like I like when I like when he, I like when he finally beat the clown. <laughs> I like when he killed that one when when he killed that one degenerate I, degenerate dude that was disguising himself as an ice cream man. <laughs> I remember I have chores to do at home. Yes. I'm definitely a normal girl, which is why I'm down here in the Sanctuary Crypt, you know, which has doors that are locked by how much virtue you have. Which means that Ayo's virtue level is also super high, yes. Mm. Rolling around, get the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Rolling, rolling around, get the speed of sound. Mm. Alright, we must go back to the entrance. Rolling, rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. Alright, is there anything that resists freeze? No, unfortunately. What is virtue? <laughs> it's uh what Donna get it's what it's what Donna gets in this game whenever she does some whenever she does something cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For the benefit of other people, yes. Because because Miss Donna is such a is such an awesome good guy, yes. <laughs> Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. We gotta get to we gotta help raise the Eternian Palace so we can get to the Kraken. Mm. Like flash bombing a village. No, 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 not quite. No. Oh wait, Rostel's over there. Hi, Rostel, Lady Donna. Actually, we need. Oh, Rostel. Have you been assigned to guard it, guarding the main entrance of the palace? No, no, no. Flash bombing a village is not a good thing. Don't, don't let, don't let any weirdos deceive you into thinking that's good. Mm. I think my plant name would be. <laughs> Sacrificing a thousand souls that no to <laughs> I mean that that that's basic that's basically what all the machine basically is. <laughs> yes, I believe the god of the god of meat grinders is known as capitalism, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, rest out. We need to talk to we need to talk to you about we need to talk to you about getting a sheet getting some sheet music, yes. Oh, thank you for the sheet music. That's actually what we were missing in the last episode that I did of this. Yes, it turns out you don't have much talent when it comes to instruments. I was planning on learning for fun, but it just doesn't stick. Oh, that's OCM. I'm pretty decent with a harp, but I'm better with a flute. Maybe there's some instruments more suited for you, my lady. I see, I guess that's true. If there was an opportunity, I'd like to try some other instruments. Yes, you definitely should. And now, 
Yeah, all I need to do is make sure. All I need to do is put it inside the pots and make sure that, you know, and make sure that, you know, it stays, um, you know, relatively intact for like uh, however million, however many years between, you know, the fall of Eternia and, you know, um, the rise of humanity is. And apparently we put it in your room. Alright, well, now we know. Also, fun fact, my zodiac sign is Capricorn. Oh. Yeah, my, my zodiac sign is uh, Virgo, yes. Pulling <laughs> mm. around at the speed of sound. I should really use a map so I can figure out my way out. Alright, for real, we need to go back to the palace, actually. I guess that little side quest kind of took me a little out of the way, so I need to go back. Wait a minute, where where am I? Alright, I'm, I'm on the right path, but never mind. Go up to here or up here. You know? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stupid, obviously, Mars Aries. Wait, I don't need to be right here, do I? I don't need to be up here. Mars, Mars, Aries, of course. Mm -hmm. The mythical god of war, of course. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Mm -hmm. Alright, this way it leads into... This way it leads into the city. Alright, alright, the side quest kind of took me a little out of the way, and you know... Well, um, I mean, Donna did basically have to make sure the sheet music would get to Adel somehow. So she decided to make sure it would be perfectly preserved for, you know, X amount of years, yes. I wish, th I wish things that were made now would last for X amount of years, but they're going to be forgotten and lost to history because they're made so cheap and will fall apart easily. Yes, it, eventually everything becomes menins. <sighs> Ruled by Saturn, huh? <sighs> Alright, the crystal is here then. <sighs> I'm not quite sure what Virgo is ruled by then. Because I don't do a lot of astrology stuff, you see. You put an M instead of a B, it's okay. It's okay, people misclick all the time. It happens a lot when I play video games, guys. And you guys know I'm not very good at video games. <laughs> what? Where did that where did that come from? That wasn't there a moment ago, it just magically appeared. Yeah, were you guys watching all that? It just magically appeared, right? The polish just suddenly appeared before our eyes! Whoa, it, it, whoa, how did we do that? Did you do this, Donna? Yes. Mm. Also, what's with that tattoo on Donna's body? It's like a little, it's like a little eyeball. It looks like an Illuminati symbol. Oh no. I don't, I don't think she, did she like get indoctrinated into the Illuminati? Illuminati? Of course, the Illuminati is very naughty, yes. Also, I like Donna in this um, kind of British purple outfit. It looks very nice on her, I like it. <laughs> it has a lot of sensual charm, or I mean, um, it looks really nice, yes. <laughs> Nearby event markers have been marked on the map. Alright, and. All right now, and also some things. All right, we need to go back to. All right, we need to get that. We need to get that cheap music because it's kind of on the time limit. We're kind of on the time limit before to when we can complete the quest. We're kind of a little bit on the time limit. Yeah, we're in. Fortunately, a little bit on a. Fortunately, a little bit on a time limit, but for when we can complete the quest. Right now. 
We just need to go back to Donna's room, which is over here, I think. Let's see, it should be one of the pots. Surprisingly, the pots held up very well. I believe this is the pot I placed the essence charm upon. Oh, thank goodness, it's still here. Alright, we obtained the sheet music by doing time travel shenanigans. I want to Google searchers. I want to Google search your zodiac sign. Can I get your zodiac sign? Uh, yes, it's Virgo, yes. I should go back to the village and get this to Austin. Alright, let's go get. Let's go. Let's go do that real quick before we forget about it. Yeah, we are we are going to fight the Kraken now. That's that's the main event of the that's the main event of the game, yeah. Actually it's gonna be quite a big deal if we can, you know, beat that Kraken, yes. Alright, first off I need to grab some vegetables. Eggplants, you know, I remember eggplant from Hyperdimension Neptunia. For some reason, Neptune really, really doesn't like eggplants. I'm not really I'm not really sure why. I mean eggplants is a eggplants is a perfect and is a perfect and feedable vegetable. Actually I know why I know why she doesn't like uh, you know eggplants. Because she lives in game industry and you know is quite familiar with the eggplant wizard. <laughs> yes, the enemy from Kid Icarus, yes. That turns you into an eggplant, and then you have to go to the hospital to get it cured. <laughs> Although, you know, there's actually... Alright, your rule under your zodiac under your zodiac is Mercury. Oh, that's a cool... Gave the sheet music to Austin. Excellent. Ah, you found one. Thank goodness, I truly appreciate this. Ah, you're welcome. Now then, let's see what we have here. How dreadful! Well, uh, what's wrong? It's other bubble dash. I can't read a single note. Uh-oh, music from Donna's sign line isn't the same as in the present. Mm. Of course, the musical dope notes in this era are different from the ones used in Eternia. In that case, I shall teach you how to read them. Oh, that's very nice of Donna to do. Donna proceeded to teach Austin a quick rundown about how to read Eternian sheet music. Soon he is ready to put on a musical form of harmonies. Alright, are we going to see this musical performance? I would love to see it, yes. Please animate the musical performance, yes. My instrument of choice is, is the flute, and I'm particularly fond of this song. Ah, what a coincidence. While you're away, I happened to find this flute while I was searching for flute for sheet, for, for sheet music. Yes, I have managed to find a flute, yes. Shall we perform a duet together? Oh, are we going to have Cancer Zodiac is ruled by the moon? Oh, Cancer, of course. <laughs> Cancer, yeah, sort of like my streams. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, I'm only joking, of course. Wow, they actually animated them playing the harp and the flute and everything. If this were a Nintendo game, they would never put in that much effort. <laughs> they probably just they probably cut that out and put it in as DLC or something. It's part of their $40 DLC expansion package that, you know, they definitely cut out at, cut out from the end of the game because, you know, um, because, you know, they had to rush it out to market, yes. And also, they needed that money. They really did to, you know, to, you know, get their, get themselves some gotcha poles. <laughs> mm, I like getting ruled by Saturn. But yeah, I like getting ruled by Saturn. Okay. I must say you're very talented, Austin. I I was working really hard to keep up with you. No, I was playing. I was playing what was on the sheet. I'm no better and worse. I'm I'm no better or worse than what is what was written. Your talent was your talent is still impressive. Yes. And you know what? I like being ruled by. I like being ruled by. You know, big strong women. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a poem about the Eternians, a during spirit of Eternia, Eternity. <clears throat> oh, that's right, that's the title, Brilliance. <laughs> Alright, now. 
Excellent. That take quest has been done. All right, now. Hey, Andy, what do you think of a new profile pic on Twitter? I quite like it, yes. I I quite I quite like it. Hmm. The AI art get you the AI art get you the AI art is, you know, pretty good. Alright now. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Ooh, Austin's got you know a thing. Hey, can we talk somewhere? Yes. I love I love I like I like Austin. He, he they made a nice little portrait for uh, for Adol. It kind of, you know, looked a little like a Picasso. <laughs> I mean, it definitely had that, it definitely had that Cubist style. He mm. definitely, you know, had that very Impressionist style, yes. That, you know, might not have caught on in this time, and, you know, whatever time like Adol and his friends, you know, are living in, but, you know, it became super popular later on. You know, a bit, you know, a bit like, a bit sort of like any artist work, really. <laughs> Microcosm of the world. So in this microcosm, even other nobles. Oh, I like Austin. He's actually he's actually a noble with humility. You don't see that very often, guys. <laughs> and not not all the time from even streamers, really. I know because I have too much, because I have pride issues. <laughs> Saturn is actually one of my favorite planets. Oh, that's so good. I like that. Yes, I like I like Saturn. It has so many rings. Yes. Yes, it has over nine. It has over nine thousand rings around it. Although my favorite planet is Uranus, because I think it's funny to say Uranus. <laughs> I'm, I'm only joking. <laughs> I'm only joking, guys. Mm, I'm a regular laughing, joking numbnuts, guys. <laughs> I apologize. Na 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 na. But nothing can beat Earth. Oh well. Hmm. Hmm. All right, yo. Can you tell? Can you tell her something super epic for me? Yes. Let's see, what do we need? Alright, wait. Just speaking as HP lowers. My cloak. Wow, these are actually requiring very in-game gear. These, these are actually requiring a lot of in-game stuff that we're not gonna be able to get right away. Please come again. Alright, alright, alright. Without further ado, let's get on with, you know. Actually, there is something I can do first. There is actually something I can't... Actually, I'm pretty sure I can just do that later. For now, I think the best thing to do is actually go... Is actually go towards the story point so we can actually fight the Kraken, yeah. Since that's what everybody's here... That's what everybody who's watching is here for. Uh-oh, Donicles! All right, I know they're weak. To, I know they're weak to you know uh, getting getting maced in the face by you know uh, by you know a flail. Yeah, get maced in the face. Yeah. Mace is a place. Only around at the speed of sound. The places they go gonna follow my rainbow. Trust in me, we gotta keep moving on. Trust in me, and I'll set you free. Wow, we can't actually go that way. Yeah. That way appears to be plots, just like my soul. When people talk about Uranus, they they can't they can't they can't say the name. They can't they can they can't they can't say the real name. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, you see, um, Uranus is kind of associated with, you know, a, a certain, you know, terrible joke. <laughs> I'm afraid Uranus is kind of, you know, associated with, you know, a, a certain meme. <laughs> it's like a negative meme about my boy Uranus. <laughs> I mean, it's so rude. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh boy, it looks like there's a lock door over here. I can't quite get through it. Alright, can I open this chest? It contains a single Saurian scale, which I got a ton of those. Alright, can I open this? This door seems to be locked by some sort of mechanism. And I'm assuming this... That one looks like it looked out. That one's completely blocked. You know, again, like my soul. Black like my soul, full of trash like my soul. Actually, actually, my entire life was full of trash. <laughs> it's because I'm, it's because I'm a hoarder of, you know, it's because I'm a hoarder of, you know, um. <laughs> it's because I'm a hoarder of, it's because, it's because I'm a hoarder, yes. I can kiss you on the cheek, Indy. Yes, you can. I uh, guess you can. Of course, if you do so, I'm going to have to take you into Fairyland for like seven years. <laughs> you know, a bit like Thomas the Rhymer, you know, when he, you know, kissed the, when he kissed the Fairy Queen, yes. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I won't, I won't actually be doing that. What? There's like a, there's like a big giant, you know, uh, there's like a giant blockage right here. That I can't clear because there aren't enough people in the village? <clears throat> I need like 23 people? Uh, we're not actually in a position to be able to get any more right now. Wow, what's this? Flowers. I I really I really like flowers. Flowers are nice, flowers are pretty. Mm -hmm. That's why that's why you like it. Thank you for the kiss. Uh look at the ant. Whoa, every, every, everything is precarious on that edge. You know, a bit, a bit like an, a bit like an edgelord, yes. A bit like a, a bit like an edgelord, yes. Hey, at all, is that? Yes, yeah, surprisingly, it's, it looks like we arrived at the other side of the chasm. The thing's pretty scary, I can't see the bottom. How deep is it? I'm not sure it's dark at the bottom, it, it's... It's like staring into the abyss. And if you stare into the abyss, the abyss stares back. Uh, Donna, are you gonna tell me what's on your mind? You know, anything important to the plot? Like, you know, a giant meteor coming down, coming down to, um, you know, wipe out your civilization and, you know, um, basically traumatize you for life? <laughs> is it Oceanus' nest down there? Who knows, guess we'll just, guess we'll find out when we get there. Right, let's go. Let's get moving. Moving, moving, moving. But all the planets are pretty in their own way, yes. Yes, I agree with that. Yar har fiddly dee. Being a pirate is okay with me. Do what you want because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. I am a pirate. I love being I love being a pirate, yes. My fa my favorite type my favorite pirates are, you know. Are you my favorite pirate? You know, it's a toss-up between you know Luffy from One Piece and um, and Jack and Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> I mean, as much as much as you know, Captain Jack Sparrow is definitely is definitely very memeable. I'm I'm gonna have to gift it to Luffy. Probably, probably. I mean, I have a connection to basically both of them, really. Oh, what the heck is that? That looks ugly. That looks super ugly. That looks super ugly. What the, what the heck is that? It looks like it. It looks like it. It looks like it. It looks like it has a butthole for a face. <laughs> I'm only joking about that. I'm only joking. I I don't I don't actually think that. <laughs> but the Earth is the most pretty. Oh yeah. Oh, I agree with that. I guess I can agree with that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ricotta might be in a little trouble. In a little bit of trouble, guys. I mean, she's she's she's, she's a little short. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I, I kind of can't. I kind of have this. I kind of have this thing where I need to like breathe under what. I kind of have this thing where I, I actually need to like breathe. <laughs> I can't. I can't breathe. I literally can't breathe. 
It's her, it's her like, you know, the imposter, you know, um, disabled, disabled, you know, the thing, disabled, you know, you know, the thing, you know, one of the things. Ow, oh, ow, oh, get out of my way. Get out of my way. It's like, it's like the, it's like when the imposter, you know, turns off O2, turns off oxygen. I, li I can't breathe, I literally can't breathe. I, I can't breathe, I can't, I literally can't breathe. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm underwater. Yo, have we tried going underwater? We've made it this far, but how much do you really go? I don't think going underwater is a good idea, guys. I don't think don't, I don't think going underwater is a very good idea because we we have this thing where we need to breathe. <laughs> and you know, none of us none of us know how to swim. We just sink like stones in the water. <laughs> which is very which is very appropriate. That, that's how, that's how you that's how you die and re that's how you die. Oh, what the heck is that? What the heck is this thing? Ancient fish of the Eternian air. Oh, what? This is a primal. This is apparently like an ancient fish and also it shoots out electricity. Oh no. Uh oh, it's toxic. All right, watch out! Watch out! This could get a little shocking. <laughs> All right, let's 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 see where it sells the spiral dive. Uh, it's, a, it's only electricity attack. Electric attack. It's just like it's just like Pikachu in the Pokemon anime. It's only electric attack. All right, let's throw a bone right through it. Yes. <laughs> Earth beautiful with all its oceans, plants, animals. <laughs> I I agree. I agree that I agree that Earth is very beautiful. Yes. I just, I just wish the player base that you know make you know everything go from a survival game to you know a pay to win game. <laughs> oh, what's this? You know what it is, Donna. I remember it's. I remember Sorry mentioned this at some point. She said the Royal Family had essence equipment that let them breathe underwater. If we use this, we don't have to hold our breath, so we burn the face. Yes, I suppose. Either way, now we can explore underwater. Hmm, not much for swimming, Loxia. Huh? I never been much of a swimmer, mainly because I've never learned in the first place. No, Loxia doesn't know how to swim. Well, neither does anybody in this game. Hmm. Oh, what do you mean? Of course you should have a reason to swim. I mean I mean, isn't your family like bubbles? Don't they have like don't they have like swimming pools or something? Didn't they, you know, have like a swimming pool or something? <laughs> Although if a politician, you know, spent a whole bunch of money, you know, building a personal, you know, swimming pool, I think uh, people would be very upset about that. <laughs> and honestly, rightly so. Alright, alright, I don't think we're gonna be needing the float shoes around here, so we're gonna equip, we're gonna equip this, we're gonna equip the hermit scales. All right, now we now we can breathe. Now we can now we can actually breathe underwater. Yes, Let's go. and having the ability to breathe underwater is very nice. Venus is a god is a goddess of things I can't say. Yeah, Venus is the um is a goddess of horny. Yes. Hmm. 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 Yeah, she's the goddess of, you know, horny things, yes. <laughs> Alright now, let's look, look let's look closely at this map. I know there's a treasure chest somewhere around here that, you know, has a has a cool thing inside of it. Alright, the good the good news Alright now. There it is. That's actually what I was looking for. All right, the Thorn Manual gives Rokota a new skill. Rumble Thorn. All right, now what is? All right, is Rumble Thorn any good? Is the question? Is the question? I don't remember if it is or not. 
Yeah, we don't have to worry about things like breathe. We don't have to worry about breathing, but we still have to worry about, you know, getting swallowed by giant whirlpools. You know, which reminds me of the water temple, you know. It had that one section with the whirlpools. I mean, it was... It's not really even so much of a problem for me because I, you don't have, I you know, know how to cheese it a little. Alright, we're, we're, we're going underwater. We're just, we're just going in an underwater expedition, you know, be able to beat, to be able to beat the Kraken. Oh, is this? Oh, what is this thing? It looks like some sort of, it looks like some sort of spore. Explosive spores? Oh boy. There's some sort of underwater fungus that when it clings to your clothes, you can pull back and, you know, throw a giant, throw an energy ball that explodes. Like so. Yeah, how do you like that? Alright, prepare yourself, vile creature, vile creature of evil. Take that. Actually, I don't think we actually hit the mark. Actually, though, actually those boards will come, in, will come in handy later. Unfortunately, not right now. Alright, the good thing about this game is you can, is that if you're very good at it, you can predict all the enemies' move. You can predict all the enemies' movements and be able to just straight up block them whenever you want. Of course, if you're bad at the game like I am, you um, you won't be doing much of that. <laughs> although I, although I did have that one video where I did actually pretty well against the big, against the big dino. Yeah. All right now we, all right now prepare to prepare for purification. Uh oh, dinosaurs. Dinosaur, dinosaur. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Alright, what's over this way? Oh boy, looks like Vince we looks like Vince. Alright, we're gonna vent we're gonna vent real quick. Oh boy, oh boy, turtles. And not the good kind that have turtle power. And you know what are also ninjas. Bad kind of turtles that, you know, want to kill you. They remind me of they remind me of those one snapping turtles in, you know, Mature's Mask. Mm. I believe those were just called stampers, I think. Yeah, they are basically alligator snapping turtles. And have you guys ever seen alligator snapping turtles? They're they're like some big they're like big and ugly and you know, have huge jaws that are super duper strong and you know you know can really bite down super hard, yeah. <laughs> As a pet, quite a powerful bite, yes. Alright, anything down here that is of interest. Uh oh, it, it's one of those guys. Alright, now. Oh, we're out of him. I doubt we're gonna need much of those explosive spores. Oh, they could be handy and useful. Could be handy in certain situations. Alright, where am I supposed to go? Wait. I think I'm on the right track? Am I supposed to go down here? Yes, it appears I... It appears so. Alright, now burn, burn, burn in the burning ring of fire. Adversary purified. Let's purify some more adversaries real quick. Yes, we have to say purification progress. Neptune is a very Jip Jupiter is pretty for its dense cloud for dense bright and dense clouds. Neptune is very pretty for its blue color. <clears throat> ah yes, ne yes, Neptune is very Neptune is very nice. My favorite thing about Neptune is you know um is you know um is you know the name got used in hyperdimension Neptunia. Because it was the name of an unreleased uh, Sony console. It was an alternate name for a console that they were making. Ooh, what's this? Less formula? Oh, well, I guess I, I kind of need that. Well, I guess I kind of need that so I can get all recipes. Right, I'm heading the wrong way, of course. Alright, we got more of the, we got more turtles in time. Not the good kind of turtles in time, you know, like that features nin 
that features turtles that are also ninjas. The bad kind of turtles in time that, you know, want to kill you. <laughs> Although, Turtles in Time is a very good game, yes. Guess what game Saturn is... Guess what Saturn is pretty for? Ah, uh, the rings? I mean, the rings on Saturn are very pretty, yes. Hmm. By the way, did you know it? Did you know in Yu-Gi-Oh there's actually an archetype that's based on that's based on the planets? Hmm. The bad thing about the archetype that's based on the planets is that they're kind of, they were kind of good once a long time ago, but not really so much anymore. Yeah, I'm referring to the I'm referring to the monsters like Agent Agent of Mystery Earth. And you know, Age of the Creation Venus. Yeah, it's pretty, 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 pretty for its rings. I knew it would be. Somehow, somehow I figured that. Mm. Yeah, they, they did release like the, some new support, but it's like, you know, it's like, you know, I don't think those things will ever be good. I don't think the Agent Monsters will ever really be good again. Ooh, sorry shells. Those are actually a very rare item. The only way to get those normally is from the big tricer from the triceratops, you know, in you know the planes. All right, I guess the I guess the door that you know is open now. Oh wait, there's a bunch of big there's like big monsters over here. All right now, let's burn, burn, burn in the burning ring tower. Also, these donicles apparently shoot electricity out of out of their shell. What? Where, where the heck are we? Oh, Gold Essence Crystal, okay. Alright, I'm guessing that's a gift item for Donna since she's the one who's so connected with the Essence. Wait, there's a switch here. Alright, that door, that, that door earlier. Alright, well, that makes a shortcut for later, I guess. Alright, let's burn that thing down. Alright, you can't, you can't get me that easily. There we go, yeah, yeah, get, get wrecked. Try and get me if you're able. But you know my now, my determination's stable. You mean my friends all disappear. Everything they cared about is why I'm here. I am their fury, I am their vengeance. I am determination. I know you're made of la uh, 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 of uh, 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 uh. But I'm stronger than you. This is how it stops. This is how it ends. If you think you can beat me, well, you better try again. Mm. Mars is known for snowy mountains, lake beds, and its landscape. Oh wow, yes it is. I mean, technically speaking, doesn't that mean there is water on Mars? Which is the perfect thing to foster. Which is the perfect thing to foster in the evolution of. You know, a, you know, a new species, yes. In fact, I believe they found, like, bacteria on Mars, yeah. Or at least, or at least they said they did. Rolling, 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 rawhide. Going deeper into the ocean. Uh-oh, I think we finally reached our destination, guys. Alright, are you ready? It's time to get cracking. It's time to finally feist the Kraken! Wow, it's like a ship graveyard! Is that the Lombardia's nameplate right there? What is this place? What is this place? It's really spacious! Yes, it's the lair of Oceanus. You can tell because it's very spacious. Like a boss room of some sort. Wait, <laughs> didn't make... But we didn't see Oceanus Nest that as made as we made our way. That's because we're actually in it. I can't believe I can't believe Venus is the goddess of things. <laughs> yes, the goddess of uh, quote unquote love and beauty. Yeah, didn't, didn't Venus, you know, one time get so jealous of a girl that she tried she tried to get her son to you know um you know um make it make her fall in love with a horse or something and uh, you know. And, you know, he was like, he kind of, you know, poisoned himself in one of his own arrows and fell in love with her. <laughs> you know, 
you know, Venus, you know how she portray she's portrayed in that story, you know, you know that one Final Fantasy Chronicle, you know that one Final Fantasy Chronicles game that, you know, is on that, as for the Game Boy that got re-released on, you know, the Switch? She's, she's like, she's like the goddess that, you know, you know, is getting rid of all, you know, doesn't want all the ugly people around her, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she, she reminds me of that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's wait a little longer. Yes, we should resurface. Uh oh, might be new information back to end the village. Oh, the enemy is not here. No, the enemy is not here. No, okay, doll. Oh, ocean is swimming out in the ocean. Oh, okay. Oh, we didn't get to do the Kraken yet. I want. I was. I promised everybody that you know the, that we were going to do that we were going to get Kraken, and we haven't gotten Kraken yet. Hey, Adol. Hey, Adol. Uh, hey there, uh, Doggy and uh, Thanos. Yes, my name is Thanos. I am searching for the for the magic Nintendo Power Glove and trying to complete my rock collection. They're like super special magic rocks that are like from the 1970s. Yes. Also, I also I have a fedora, and you know I'm trying to and I'm tr constantly trying to flirt with with uh, Lady Death. Only she's clearly not interested in me. <clears throat> what could I be doing wrong? I mean, I got the finest fedora that you know a gentleman can ever have. <laughs> hey there, Cinematic Sith. What's up? <laughs> I can't see Goddess. I can't see Venus the same anymore. Yeah, we know. We know that. We, we know that Venus is the goddess of the horny. Yes. <laughs> so, how are we gonna hunt it? It's actually not that difficult. Trapping it, trapping it in its own nest was actually a good idea. Yoshi, Yoshi is more. It's more of an advantage in open waters. However, the Eternians were in split into two teams to hunt them down. Oh, two teams. That's right, the first team would drive Oceanus back to the nest, and the second team would wait for it at its nest and finish it off. That's where we come in. We're gonna... It's similar... It's similar to a fishing technique I've used before, yes. <clears throat> That's a sound strategy, but if we split into two teams... I think we can do it, yes. All we need to do is... All we need to do is have Dogman and his team, you know, uh, all we gotta do is have the Wall Crusher and his guys, you know, do the do the part where they drive the enemy into the nest. And then we finish it off, yes. Oh boy, yes. Does the two of you know? It, it would be an impossible task for Dogie and me alone. That's why everyone in Kesway Village will help us drive back to Oceanus. I mean, they've been helping out with the raid so far, why would you think that... They wouldn't be able to help us now. <laughs> what about the village? If it gets attacked while everyone is away, our ship and our ship gets destroyed. Don't worry, we got like blueprints. We can make a new ship if it gets destroyed. Although, if you know the village ship, like they like that, that's probably really bad, because that's where all our materials are. I mean, all right now we're counting on you guys. All right now. Now we got a plan in action. Let's strike while the iron is hot. Yes. If Saturn was a girl, I would date it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Saturn sounds like a very good planet to, you know, marry. Because, you know, it has all those, it has all those rings. Which means that one of them must be a wedding ring. <laughs> Here's your highest. Guess what he's writing himself. The face has shown he has the beast at Sancta Lombardia, yes. Rolling, rolling around at the speed of sound. That place says they go, gotta find out my rainbow. The fateful hour approaches. Oh. Mm, night to the final day. <laughs> Twelve hours remain. Hmm. And the moon is gone. Yes. We need to, we, I need to take, a, I need to take out an imp that's trying to mess with the moon again. <laughs> after, after all, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna allow, you know, I'm not going to allow an imp to, you know, mess with the moon. Imps are not allowed to, you know, imp, 
Imps, you know what? Magic mass, you're not allowed to mess with the man. Not on my watch, no. I will not allow it. <laughs> I'm making white wallpaper Saturn, yes. Mm, space is a very cool thing to be interested in, guys. Of the lot, yeah. My one of my favorite things about one of my favorite things about space is you know when they discuss when they when they got a visible image of a black hole <laughs> and you discovered it's like super duper huge and then suddenly there was a black hole Chan meme yes <laughs> which was kind of related to Earth Chan yes but now we can finally end this once and for all. <laughs> Annie, what planet would I date? I, 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 I would date, I would date the planet Earth, yes. Hmm. Because the planet Earth is super sad, yes, and totally, and not flat. <laughs> and also, it's all, it's where all, it's where all the life is, yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my mm -hmm. The oceanus can't, can't leave the water, but we still don't know what it's capable of. Please don't, under Please don't underestimate it. She's yeah, could like send out a war cry to summon other dinosaurs to help uh, to fight us on land. Uh, at the very least. Sure about that? With your left. Oh, uh, I'm just <laughs> Don't worry, Lick will be perfectly fine, yes. And he's been he's been doing okay at the raids. I'll do my best, don't worry. I know you'll do great and come back to us. Alright. There's some cool looking Saturn wallpapers. You and know, if I had wallpaper I'd probably have some of the boom, yeah. Alright now. Alright now, let's let's make the ocean safe again, yes. Yeah, we're gonna make it safe so we can alright now. Alright, at all lead your team. Alright now. Let's let's start the alright, let's commence with the operation. Operation is my favorite game. <clears throat> operation is a classic board game of strategy and also, you know, um being kinda of precise, yes. Hold on, my stay out of frame for just a moment. I have to a stretch because you know I'm starting to get a little bit stiff. I'm sorry. I wish I didn't get like that, but you know that's kind of what's going on. It's part of why I can't really play Banjo 2 anymore because of Canary Mary. <laughs> and I love Banjo 2 but I can't I can no longer really physically do Canary Mary. Not without, you know, taking advantage of her rubber banding AI. Once the Okeana surfaces, <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah! All right, there's Oceanus. Let's go. Let's go attack it right now. We'll throw some dynamite into the water to, you know, um, to you know, annoy it. Dang! Look at it. It looks like it looks like one of those big octos from the uh, Wind Waker. Wait, where did everybody get bows and arrows from? <laughs> We got like cannon bolts, we got bows and arrows. I guess Caitlyn knew how to make bows and arrows, yes. Alright now, direct hit! Direct a direct attack on its life points! <laughs> yes, it's the first damage of the duel. Uh-oh! It's preparing to summon its boss monster! It's preparing to summon its bump. It's preparing to summon some monsters. No. It's gotta summon a bunch of monsters in one turn. Wait, you summoned a bunch of monsters in one turn? Yeah, so. <laughs> but that's against the rules, isn't it? Screw the rules. I have money. <laughs> Yo, it summoned a bunch of monsters. All right, now. Don't worry, Toby's gonna wall crush your. My favorite part is when Togi wall crushes all over these guys. When Togi the wall crusher wall crushes on these guys, 
goes all this wall crushing time and wall crushes on these guys. One punch! Oh yeah, come on, come on. Punch him like, punch him with the mighty of Saitama, please! <clears throat> yes, I'm gonna get out my Belmont Whip. It's the Vampire Killer, yes. <laughs> Even though that's a dinosaur and clearly not a vampire. Settle <laughs> 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 <Sedo> Kaiba. <laughs> yeah, we've seen, we've seen four kids Settle Kaiba. He is definitely the best version of Kaiba. In fact, the, the four kids version of him is actually better than the actual version of him. <laughs> That's probably one of the few changes that four kids actually made that's actually better. <clears throat> you know, along with the Shadow Realm. You know, there's no such thing as the, as the Shadow Realm in the original Yu-Gi-Oh! anime. Yeah, that's all a bunch of nonsense made up by four kids. In the actual show, yeah, they were actually killing each other with the overcard games. Like, you know that duel with Arcania with that dark energy disc? Yeah, it's not a dark energy disc, it's actually a buzzsaw and he's gonna chop off every he's gonna chop off Yugi's legs. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me or does Saturn sound like a girl's name? I mean, I, I guess it could be. I mean, uh, you've seen you've seen Sana, right? You've seen that one uh, Hell Life YouTuber Sana, right? I mean, she's ba she's basically the size of Saturn. <laughs> I I mean I mean. I mean, everybody knows that everybody knows that consoles' true forms are, you know, um, are you know, fast and electric in nature. Yes. <laughs> I should come up. I should come up with a crazy, bizarre lore too. Yes. Too bad I cannot come up with lore as crazy and bizarre as Hell Life or um Nin or Ninja Sanji. No. <laughs> I mean, they have some excellent lore in there on their characters. Yeah, eat the spores of justice! Hmm. Oh no, we're stunned! Alright, taste the spores of justice! Eat the spores of justice! Oh no, we're getting tentacled! Oh no, not tentacles! I see enough hentai to know where this is going! <laughs> no, 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 not tentacles! No, get the tentacles out of here! I don't want no tentacles! Get out of here with the tentacles! <laughs> All right, it has a big glowing flashing points on its body. Uh, what what does that flashing point on its body mean? Is that like a weak point or something? <laughs> oh, I got it was a weak point. Fortunately, we didn't get down there. We didn't do too much damage. And we almost got rid of one of its health bars, and it's got like three of them. Come on, roll up there, yeah. Come and get me, come and get me a big, come and get me a big squid head. <laughs> Man, this, this, <clears throat> it's sort of like fighting Cthulhu, only, it, only it's not quite Cthulhu. All right, it's having the, it's doing the typical attacks that it had on the Lombardia. <clears throat> try and get me with your ten, try and get me with those tentacles. Alright, now, eat the, eat. Alright, now, go for the stuff. Alright, now, run the weak point. Alright, now, let's throw a few, let's throw a few bones into it. Use the water currents to get back up. Don't worry, I will. Mm. Get for 100% dating Saturn? Okay, yeah. Yeah, you should, you should definitely date Saturn. Saturn sounds like a perfectly good waifu. Although, it might, might. Although the moon, although Endemati is my waifu, yes. I mean, literally, I need her. <laughs> literally, I'm the guy that came up with the idea for her, yes. Oh no, we're being, we're being hit, we're being, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, we're being sucked in. No, 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 we're being sucked. No, don't give me the suck. Oh no, we're blinded, and I got, and I got the suck. <laughs> oh no. Alright, we need we need to hear darkness so that people can actually see what's going on. We got we got hit with darkness by the ink. Oh no. <laughs> Not the ink. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, it's hurt. it's shooting energy balls at us. Oh no. It's turning it's turning into a Damaku battle. <laughs> Alright, get get that get that get that weak point. 
Hey, what, whoa, 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 what's, uh, what's going on? Stop bringing the current! Alright, now. Alright, now, go. Baron is my way through now. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Why you think? Why? All right now. If if Saturn were a planet girl, you def you should probably definitely date her. Ah, <laughs> uh, watch out! Watch out! For, watch out for the energy waves. Take this. Eat a spore to the face. Yeah. We're gonna ir we're gonna irritate you with the power of penicillin. Ah, <laughs> uh, watch out for the tentacles. Oh no, not tentacles. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Uh, watch out, watch out! Yeah, miss. Yeah, how do you like the ant? Hey, whoa, 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 don't get caught up in the currents again. There we go. We just have to throw a few bones into it. Hey, new bugs. Ara, ara. You're such a cute little... You're such a cute, big, strong little wolf. <laughs> you watch these streams... You watch these streams all the time? Get out of here. Get calamari, you antenna fool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have to bring the Kid Icarus Uprising memes into this. <laughs> it. All right, now. That was quite tentacular. <laughs> yes, we have to bring the Dragon Quest memes into it, yes. Mission complete. Alright, now. Now to get ourselves a fried calamari. <laughs> That'll make some truly monster calamari, yes. What are you talking about? Captain Barbaros died because of Nameless because of Nameless Ripper. That thing was ugly. I mean, I mean, it was a squid. I mean, it's a squid. It was trying the fisherman. It was trying to do. It was trying to do the fisherman's wife trap on us. But we were like, nah, we're not gonna be. We're not gonna fall for that. Yeah, the wife is one against the one against the tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, of course. <laughs> Now then, don't be any others are waiting for us. Let's return to shore. All right, now. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Uh, Miss Donna, are you okay? Yes, I'm, ha I'm having a flashback that is very convenient to the plot. It'll definitely reveal what's going to happen next in the story. Yes, I can't believe we fought a sexy paradise villain. <laughs> yes, uh, that one was. Uh, although that one was an octopus, not a cra not a giant kraken. <laughs> hey, yes, I can't believe we. I. We fought, we fought Ultros from Final, we fought Ultros again from Final Fantasy, and, and, and we won. Man, can you believe they brought Ultros back in modern games? <laughs> Alright, the fish's primordials haven't dealt with as well. Nothing could stop them from leaving the island. They could depart as soon as the ship was ready. Tanados and Ahat suggested throwing a party to celebrate their impending escape. Energized by the victory over their village's arch nemesis, the castaways' celebration rang throughout the night. And then... And then everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. <laughs> we gotta do all the stale crusty memes, guys. The crustier the better, yes. Revive them from the mean graveyard, yes. Oh man, I haven't been this excited in a while. Yeah, have you ever been so excited that you got that you ever got a nosebleed? <laughs> uh we were Saturn is my way you feel? <laughs> what you what you want <laughs> Hey Will, 
It will end, Amati. It's my best friend. <laughs> hey, well, my name is Ingemati. I live on the moon. <laughs> hey, well, my name is Ingemati. I got into a fight with a giant squid and won against the Twinticles. <laughs> There's actually a lot of work left for us to do. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the searching to us. Alright, uh, you got it. I'm counting on you, partner. Mm. It won't be long till we're getting fun farewells and our lives as castaways. I gotta admit that I'm gonna actually miss living living like this. So you'd rather stay here? That's not a wholly terrible idea. Mm. Finish eating, father. Ah, uh, Ricciotti, yeah. Hmm, I'm gonna go with your favorites, yeah. Are you okay, Ardo? Have you had enough to drink? Yes, I got I got the good ale, guys. I got I got my favorite drink, it's called Head Smash. Yes. I first discovered it by you by you know time traveling and you know um <laughs> And I'm learning the recipe from, you know, this one sexy cave woman, yes. Her name was Isla, and she was super strong and super buff. <clears throat> hey, well, Endema Indy is my best friend. <clears throat> That's right, Endemati is your best friend, not your waifu, yes. <laughs> <laughs> she still hasn't recovered her memory. I was thinking about that, too. I... It sure would be a shame if, you know, Donna suddenly recovered her memories and, you know, um, discovered something very important to the plot. <laughs> I mean, that would just be a shame, and then we have to be launched into a into an end game, but we're gonna have to fight, you know, an even bigger threat than Oceanus. Like, you know, um, you know, God himself decides to show up and, you know, um, start murking people. <laughs> Cause that's what happens in RPGs when you, whenever you fight a new boss. All right, now where did Donna go off to? I'm sure she's. I'm sure. I'm sure she's perfectly fine wherever she is. So no driftage. Mm. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. Gotta follow my rainbow. All right, we can't do forge yet. We can't forge anything yet. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Hi, Cathy. All right. Actually, we will get I, we will get something for Cathy later. I'll probably save that for you know the next episode, maybe. Two moons. That's double the powers of. That's double the holy power. Yes. <laughs> Why are there two moons? I don't know. This game doesn't take place on Earth. Even though we have the, even though we have lands and nations that are be, that are just parody that are just parodies of you know real of real world nations and places. <laughs> Only spelled slightly different to give it some flavor. Yes. Sort of like when sort of like when you put salt and pepper in any meal. In fact, if you're not seasoning your meal with any sort of spices, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't if you don't season your meals, then what are you doing? You need to season your stuff, dude. I mean, that's see. I just Google Saturn Chan. Oh, all right. I all right. I have I have to see your. Wait, uh, Sahad, are you a little are you a little drunk right now? <laughs> Yeah, Sahad's just just Sahad's just drunk. Mm, he's been hitting. He, I mean, Sahad has been, you know, um, getting into the hot sauce. Yeah, you remember that Yu Gi Oh GX hot sauce that you know is inside of a uh, totally not a uh, sake bowl. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, with that one archetype that's uh, based on quote unquote dizziness and totally not uh, and totally not on alcoholism or domestic abuse. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> yeah, that's a real thing that happened in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Chun-Li's father. You know, the Koala guy's father, yes. <laughs> Although my favorite thing my favorite thing about Chun Li is, you know, uh, when he had when he um, summoned Master of Oz. <laughs> and I thought Master of Oz was actually pretty strong because it was like a, it was like, you know, it's a fusion monster with over four thousand attack. And it turns out it's like pretty meh. <laughs> turns out though it's actually pretty meh. Saturn Chain is looking super cute. Oh, that sounds that sounds like it that sounds like it'd be correct. Donna? It happened again. It happened again, the sun's light. What is it? What is it? Something inside the sun? Something inside the sun? What is it? Like like the sun's gonna crack open and unleash a giant and unleash a whole bunch of Eldric evils into the into space into this space. And then we're gonna have to fight and then we're gonna have to fight against a dark elder god or something. Uh oh. Donna's having a vision and it looks very peaceful. Wait, what? Nope, that's Scarlet. That's that's death. That's that's a bad thing. That was I I will send you a picture of her, okay? Scarlet fishing, something will plummet here. Yes, it's called a meteor, yes. Yes, X Death summoned a meteor to destroy the civilization. And the world That sounds like a very X Death thing to do. Curse you, angry, evil overlord of splinters! Is there no end to your evil? I must return to the palace. I must speak to Queen Sari. All right. Hey, Queen Sari. So it turns out there's gonna be a giant meteor that's gonna rock. That's gonna, you know. That's, you know, gonna bash into everything and kill everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, what killed the dinosaurs? Uh, the Ice Age, yes. Actually, ironic, because, you know, uh, you know, Donna actually has a special move that's based, that's called, that's called the Ice Age. Like, you know, it just sends out a wave of ice that just freezes everything in its path. Your friend has sent to the entire kingdom, perhaps if we use it somehow. Oh, I don't think she's gonna be able to save her civilization! I mean, at the Crystal Pillars, the life of Eternia. If we use it in that matter, the entire, the entire kingdom will be trained of essence. I think the neighboring nations will react once it, will react once I learn this. That's right, Oga, I don't know what's going, to, what's going to happen. But we can't do nothing and wait for the inevitable to happen. I am inevitable. <laughs> yeah. Donna's civilization is about to get Thanos snapped. <laughs> it turns out we probably should have not ignored that angry purple space race and that, you know, had a fedora on. He was, he was kind he was kind of he was kind of flirting with Lady Death earlier and uh he was like he was like trying to he was trying to get her to date. Get her to date him, but he, uh, she was like, nah. <laughs> now he's been trying to build it. Now he's, run, now he's running around with a magic Nintendo power glove and, you know, trying to trying to collect all the all the special MacGuffin rocks. <clears throat> you know, to wipe out half of all life in the universe so he can get, so he can get, near, so he can get in Lady Death, so he can, um, so he can try to get Lady Death to, um, <laughs> even so, thanks to, Queen Sari preparations went off without a hitch. Before long, the Essence Meisters have been assembled and they begin practicing to erect a barrier around to enclose all of Eternia. But they had little time to practice like an ancient dread began apparently Eternia as the meteor loomed even larger over the nation. There's no kill like overkill. Meteor! <laughs> <laughs> yes, it appears that Sethroth in this timeline was actually successful in summoning the meteor to kill everything. <laughs> hmm. Uh yes. It turn it turns out that it turns out that it, it turns out that Sephiroth is actually an ancient evil, yes. Yes, 
Yes. Possibly built by the Illuminati or something. Yes, curse you, Shinra. Is there no end to your evil? <laughs> mm. Mm. My favorite thing about Shinra is that they love capitalism. <laughs> I go. Oh no, it's Seth Roth's meteor! Mm. Oh no! Mm. The barrier is barely holding on! Direct hits! Now I'm gonna launch an even bigger one to destroy the barrier completely and then wipe out all life on this planet. You know, because because uh, I'm Sephiroth. <laughs> and you and you know what? And you know I miss my mom. <laughs> hmm. There's more than one. What? It's a barrage of meteors. It's not over yet. The next wave is in now. Yes, explosion! <laughs> All right, here it comes. And it's it's time to make it rain. Here comes the meteor shower of injustice. Damn, Sephiroth really stepped up his meteor. Stepped up his plan to summon. Stepped up his plan. He's not just summoning one meteor. He's summoning like over nine thousand of them. I apologize. I'm going to help maintain the barrier and keep it standing as long as possible. I'm coming with you. Let's make case for the aerial corridor. Thank you. Please stay there, sir. Well. All right, now. All right, we will def we will try to be careful. We're definitely going to save the world and stop and s erect the barrier. The I sure hope. I sure. I sure hope. I sure hope the force. I sure hope the forces of evil don't get in my way and you know try to stop me from you know um, reaching that area. Get a hold of yourself. I mean that would be that would be that would be a great shame. What's going on? That sounded bad. The barrier won't hold much we need to hurry, yes. What on earth? What? What's going on? It looks like oh no! The true villain of the game! It's actually Silent Hill! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Donna, it's Silent Hill! You're never gonna escape it! Oh, uh, what the heck is going on? Silent Hill. What's going on? <laughs> oh no. True evil of this game is actually Silent Hill. That's not good. We need we need to get out of this fog before you know some weird things start showing up and trying to kill us. We need to get out of here. Please get me out of this crazy place. We can't kill them because we don't have we don't have the <laughs> of course we got of course we got a meme. Oh no, we can't kill these spirit monsters, they're invulnerable. Rolling around at the speed of sound, gotta get to gotta get to the barrier and fix it all up now. Silent Hill Silent Hill came up to stop us. Wait, a spirit is near. Maybe the spirit can help us get out of Silent Hill. Yes, I'll help you. Don't worry, I will get you out of there. Do what mm. you want, cause the pirate is free. You How am I doing? I'm doing fine. Being a pirate is something to be. Do what you want, cause the pirate is free. You are a pirate. Stars have rent a sun. Now wait. A wreath has torn from heaven. It's too late, I fear the work. If this continues, the world will. It's not too late. We can still stop it. There must be something we can do. If we can escape from Silent Hill, maybe. Thou art, Thou art what? what? Forgive me, it is nothing. It not I am called Astios. I, I am the spirit of light. Oh, I'm not cute, though. Mm. Anybody saying I'm cute is definitely camping, guys. Don't believe the camp, guys. Mm. Don't believe the bunny propaganda. I am not cute. <laughs> oh. mm. Me being cute is propaganda spread by supervillains, yes. They're being led by a killer rabbit. <laughs> mm. 
Yay, we got it. We got a yellow. We got like it. We have Estos to Spirit of Light. Now we can defeat. Now we have the power to Luminous Style. This power to this is this power to see which remains unseen. Even with that power, I lost sight of my path. In thy hands, however, I sense a troubling presence in the fog. This say nothing of the nice nothing of the stars themselves. Please continue to open new paths for as long as thou hast life. I will. All right. Now that we have the power of now that we have the power of light. Oh, thank you for the hand pants. Oh, thank you for painting the wings. Now oh, this virtue has increased. Yes. All right. Luminous style has the ability to see what's un what's unseen. Apparently, what's unseen is what's unseen. Is... No, why are you? Why are we spamming explosions? I mean, now it now is the time. I mean, now is the time to spam explosion if you really want to. <laughs> uh oh, we're up against something evil. Are those Sarian footsteps? Uh oh, something's coming from the fog. It's a monster from Silent Hill. How can a Sarian be here? That's a weird looking Saurian. What the heck is up with that thing? That is a strange looking beast. Hope of Elyon on the fog. No! Get those skeletons out of here! <laughs> Alright now. Alright now, it's time to it's time to deal with whatever the what, it's time to deal with this new threat. All right, all right. We have to we have to watch out for we have to watch out for the frost attack. Well, we can't we can't actually break. We... All right, maybe maybe if we can break the break away. Oh no, that's gonna get complained. Good thing Luminous Isle is so fast. Good thing Luminous Isle is immune to getting frozen. Alright, now. Stab, 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 in a stabbing lane. Stab, 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 stab. Oh, wait, what are, what are we doing? Alright, let's unleash our extra skill. Go, extra skill! Alright, now. Thousand Pierces of the Heavens! Piercing Lights, go! Yeah, how do you like that? Get wrecked. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the troll roll. <laughs> remember, if remember, if you want to see all the items, you just press exclamation point items. That <laughs> mm, the redeems are loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making them so loud. <laughs> I apologize. I'll uh, I'll see what I can do about that. I'm sorry. I think it's because my PC volume is too high. I'm sorry about that. I never seen a Sarian like that. Donna. Donna. Uh, what's going on? Are you there, Donna? Right there, Donna. Is that Olga? What's going on? The fog. fog is disappearing. Did it mean? Did it say it was too late? Oh. What was going on? Donna. Donna, what's going on? What happened? I lost sight of you after that thick fog suddenly. I don't know. But right now. Uh oh. Alright, I'm sorry. Uh oh, the barrier is starting to break. Whatever evil force whatever evil forces were were summoned the summon the silent hill fog were also responsible for the meteors! The only logical explanation. Oh no. That means we might be that means we might be fighting God again. Uh, I don't like fighting God. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't like fighting God. He tends to he tends to get a little war crimey when I, whenever whenever anything happens in any RPG. <laughs> I'm sorry for hurting your ears. I should have probably, you know, set the volume down. 
down a little bit before I began. I'm sorry about that. But now, now they, now, now I lowered the volume. It should be a little bit. It should be a little bit better, I think. I, I, I'm really sorry about that. Is it over? Yes, I think. All right, but oh no, something bigger. But I saw. And are you okay? Not again. Can't save them. I don't know, Donna, what, what's going on? Yeah, Donna's going through a little bit of trauma. Uh, that mark, what? Uh, that mark, what? That mark just appeared on her? I assume whatever gave that earth that mark is behind the, you know, meteor and, you know, the Silent Hill fog. It's like Sephiroth, it's like Sephiroth teamed up with whatever evil force in this in Silent Hill. Or, you know, decided to use it for his own evil ends. Do you know, uh, and he's part of the Illuminati, yes. Show me. The evil bad, the evil bad guy club, yeah. What is this? <laughs> Why did this yes, it's made up of, it's made up of all the, it's made up of the, all the awesome RPG vil, it's made up of all the RPG villains. Who are you? Who are you? You definitely look like you're a villain. <laughs> Uh oh. Venture west of the capital to the Forbidden Valley of Kings. Eh, yeah, Valley of what now? Who, are, who the hell are you? Where did you come from? There rests the true purpose of the Great Tree, unknown to even chosen maidens. What? What are you going on about? Who are you? Also, I have convenience, fill in teleport abilities, yes. It's very convenient. It's. It, they only work when it when the when it, when it's convenient for the plot, though. <laughs> a bit like a fire emblem villain, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that guy looks sus. <laughs> yes, that guy is a sus. Yes, that person is definitely a sussy. Is definitely a sussy imposter. Yes. Yes, they're probably an imposter that's actually alien, and you know this was all part of this is all part of the. This was all part of the Martian scheme. I don't know what their end game is, but we need to stop it. Yeah. Why did it happen? Oh. Mm. They also summoned a Final Fantasy Edleon, Edleon to try and stop us. She's gone. She's gone. What? Uh, what? What? Who's gone? What? Who? Who's gone? Anna didn't decide to do something on her own, did she? Oh no. She went off on her own. Uh, you dreamed of a memory, huh? What a horrifying story. The Kingdom of Eternia was destroyed by falling meteors? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah and it turns out it might have been orchestrated by some very bad people. Mm. That's right. As well, all orchestrated by Sephiroth, in, uh, who used the power of Silent Hill and was working with the super sus Illuminati looking dude. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're part of. I'm pretty sure they're part of an ancient cult known as Shinra. <laughs> I mean, what? I mean, how? <laughs> they're part of the. They're part of the ancient evil Jehovah Jehovah cult. <laughs> We need to like we need to build like it we need to build like this super powerful we need to build like an android to see the to see the to see invisible beings from the imaginary plane in order to, in order to stop him. <laughs> yes. Also known as Cosmos. <laughs> By the way, did you know that Cosmos actually showed up in quite a few games? I mean she's in Project X Zone, one and two, she's in that He's in that one Super Robot War. He's in that one Super Robot Wars game. Oh, oh yeah, she also showed up in Xenoblade Chronicles too. You know, as a blade you could get. <laughs> mm. Mm, I believe some of the games she was in are some. I believe some of them are Japan only too. <laughs> mm. Yes. Mm. 
Can you stretch them wings? Okay, I I will I will get I will get stretching, guys. Alright, I, I will get I will definitely I will definitely enjoy those wing stretches, guys. <clears throat> I have to go through the mountain gate and the temple of the great tree. Travel west of the mountain gate. Alright, huh? You want to guide the raid? Alright. Alright, who do you want to raid? Actually, you're just in time. Actually, it's a perfect time to raid, yes. Alright, Castaway Village. Oh, you want me to say some beast in the slump, okay. I mean at least we can get it at least we can get it marked. Muffin Kingdom, okay. Alright, we have to take care of those bees. Alright, do you have the thing I want you to craft? Alright, he's got some new stuff. He's got some new stuff we can craft. Alright, I'm actually looking for something very specific. Alright. Oh yeah, we also did get a flame stone. I might as well, you know, get that to Caitlyn real quick. I found another flame stone. Actually, I'm not really interested in talking to you, I'm sorry. Oops, I accidentally pressed it again. Sorry about that. Oh wow, we're gonna need quite a bit of essence stones. That's a good thing I got so many of them. And Shiv! Oh, that's a very classic sword. That's a very, you know, special classic sword, yes. Alright, let's make everybody some new gear. Okay, I want to make a new sword for you. Arendite. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a reference to something. Now, there's a whole bunch of things in fantasy that I don't really know about. Or, you know, I just know very basic things about it. Good thing we have... Good thing we have basically everything that we really need, really. Good thing I grinded all those essence stones earlier. Yeah, I was kind of in the tower. Of, I was like kind of in the Bacha Blast Tower because that's a place you can get essence stones the easiest. Because you know, see those giant robots in there? They kind of you know drop those, so that's a very easy way to get in. I mean, need to make Rakota some new clubs. One swing of these mighty mace can clear an entire battlefield. Oh, that sounds perfect for Rakota. We want we want her to be super strong, yeah. All right, let's forge some armor. Anointed armor oh, requires diamond shell. Gladiator armor. I mean, strength bonus is pretty nice, but you know, I don't think we're gonna be quite needing that. All right, let's just get the thing that boosts defense. There we go. Everything's all sorted there. I'm gonna check on you. Know, I'm gonna check on the tailor real quick before I begin the raid. I am pretty sure we got some. We have some new stuff for sale. They know you don't. They know you don't have them. But I own that. So you know you don't have the things I need quite yet. Alright, well, what I should All right, just one more thing before I end things. Oh well, there's nothing there, okay. Alright now. Let's go over to this crystal and then save real quick. Good thing I got Adel at a reasonably high level, so things should be fine. All right, let's do it. Read Muffin Kingdom. I hope I spelled it right. All right, guys. I remember to play games and have fun, okay? I remember to play games and have fun, okay? And I just said that. I remember, today's very message is Moonbat Read. Yes. <laughs> All 
right now. Just give me just a moment. There we go. And remember to chat rolls, moon bat, read.